Are you interested in adding particles to your games? This video will show you step by step how to do that. The engine I'm using is Godot, but you can use this concept in any other engine. First of all, we must create a scene of type, CPU particles 2D. I will adjust the lifetime to 0.6, but you can change the values depending on your preferences. Explosiveness rapidly throws the particles out, and 0.9 is perfect to simulate squirting blood effect. I will set the spread to 40, spread sets the direction of each particle from minus spread to plus spread. Adding velocity applies that velocity to each particle, while velocity random sets the randomness ratio. Now I will add the texture, but you can just modulate the node to achieve red color. Currently the texture is too big, so let's modify the scale of each particle. You can also modify the amount of particles you want to be emitted. Last thing we need to do before we get coding is to add a timer which will remove the node at timeout. Set the wait time slightly more than the lifetime of the particle and turn on one shot and auto start. We need to create a new script for these new particles, but I already have one so I will attach that one. Don't worry I will explain the code too. After you create the script, connect the timeout signal from the timer to the particles node. The timeout function removes the particles from the scene, so when the timer is finished the node is removed. The ready function which is called when the node enters the scene gets the direction depending on the player's position and sets emitting to true. Now you can instantiate the scene whenever you want. I'm doing that, in the take damage function of the enemy, so whenever the enemy gets hit, it throws out blood. Of course you must preload the blood scene. Let's see what we have done. Oh and don't forget to save the blood scene. I hope this helped you, if it did please leave a like and a comment on what you need to be explained next and I'll take care of that.